Hey traders, this is Tosh Bradley. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club MIC community. Right now, we have a very special holiday discount sale going on for MIC members or anybody wanting to join. We have $200 off our annual yearly package and we have an unprecedented $1,000 off our lifetime package. And we are raising prices going into the new year. So if you want to take advantage of these discounts, they are only good and only available right now until December 31st. Take advantage. We will definitely, definitely be raising prices soon. So uh, Sava was a, was a trade that kind of like, we only really had two good movers this week. It was like Sava and uh, XRF, I feel like on the short week, like half a day and then like one day gone. But Sava was on, I, was this on the half day? Yeah, this was on the half day. Um, so <clears throat> I, this, is a, this was a trade that I took out of the open, the first one. I kind of just shorted this because I felt like it, it was just emotions that was pushing it up. And this is something that, that I'm going to be talking about later, something I want to eliminate. But this was just, you know, I just tried to just short into the emotional push. And, you know, I kind of failed at it, right? And so I just kind of bailed right away. I, I was going for like the 450 line. Oh, it's at the top. All right. ITCI. So this was a trade I took also on the 24th. Um, yeah, it's funny. We had a busy Christmas Eve. Um, ITCI was a mover. And this was kind of like a large cap trade. And, and I posted this one out in chat beforehand in the watch list channel. Um, uh, I, I said ITC, ITCI. I, I'm looking. I'm looking to join trend after a reversal on this one. I prefer if it made a push and then started to make lower highs and break down for a short. It, or if it opens weak, start to grind back, and I'll be looking to quietly join that grind back up. So this is what I call a large cap trend join, and I talked about this in the large cap webinar. That this is one of like my setups that I like to do in a large cap. Now ITCI. Um, for just, I mean, just for some context here, this is on the 24th. Um, yeah, and XRF, this was today. So I had a couple trades on this today. Um, I had a first bounce. Uh, thanks, Avery. <clears throat> I had a first bounce on this, which, I mean, it was beautiful. It was perfect. Um, and this one, I, I normally save like half for over high a day. This one I was a little bit sketched out on, so I just took it. But I bought here, um, <clears throat> sold it up there. And then I like, this is such a stupid hero long that I tried to do. And like, I don't take very many trades like this, but I was literally like, you know, I got a little overconfident on this trade, but I, I like, I tried to buy it again right here thinking that like it would flush and hold again and shorts would get trapped and it would just rip a new one. And um, I mean, I'm not an idiot. I didn't go super big in it, but like I held it all the way to four just because the excuse was, you know, like just because I'm small, I can hold, right? Like, like, and I talk about how you shouldn't do that. And here I go, like I fell for this one, but I tried to, you know, I tried to do this stupid hero long where I'm like, I'm going to buy like the first time it works the second time it doesn't. Right. Like now, if you guys want to post any charts, um, I, I guess I'll do Jay's cause, um, because he posted one. If you guys want to post any charts let, we could talk about, you know, as far as reflecting and improving, we can talk about some of your trades if you guys want. Um, and if not, we'll just, we'll just keep going. Um, that can possibly be made. And the, the key thing here is we're not going to look at hindsight, right? We're going to look at thesis space. We're going to like, like every, it's so easy to say, well, obviously you should have like done this. Obviously you should have did that. Right. Like, cause once you have the, the hindsight, I mean, d like, duh, like it's so easy, but we're not going to base our improvements on, on our, uh, our analysis on the hindsight, but the, the improvements and reflection, we're gonna we're gonna practice going over them in direct correlation to the thesis of the trade and be like, how did you follow your thesis, right? That's the way to improve on a trade. I think it, it had a niche at that level, but it didn't work the second time. Um, oops, I want this one. Okay. No, I can't. Uh, oh, is this? Oh, the niche from here. Yeah, I mean hindsight, but it's very tough to buy there. <laughs> um. All right, so flash. So, all right, and so um, 
I think it would be good if you threaded, um, threaded it. Um, so what was the thesis? What was the thesis on the, on, on this one? Was, is this a, is this the first bounce once it's set a bottom? And is this a, are these, are these short scalp? This is a long scalp. Is that a long scalp as well for, on the niche? These look pretty easy because there's not much to them. Um, this looks like a little, um, you know, like reclaimish kind of trade. Um, I, I, I guess, I guess what's the risk here on this XRF, right? What's this one? I, I, the, the risk is obvious. It looks like it's like 25. That one, that one looks solid. I don't even think like that. That looks pretty picture perfect. This one, are you willing to add to it? What would you have done on XRF right here if it had kept going? And, yeah, and the link here. So what about this XRF? What would you have done if it kept going? What was the, uh, like, was that a 50% stop as below? Yeah, so, so you have, yeah, I really like your trades, Flash. They're always really simple. Like, it's literally, like, you wait until you have really good risk reward and you just go. Um, this, what was this high a day or low a day? This one, this one, the risk reward doesn't look so great. Um, were, were you hoping to get, like, were you hoping to get a push to VWAP on the second one, but it kind of stuffed harder than you thought and you sold it? I, I can see that. Yeah. 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 I can see that. Like, Hey, let me just like, that's not, that's not the strength I wanted to see. Let me get it off. Yeah. As long as I think that's the mentality. Um, I think that's good. I don't think it's good if you had that sell initially, right? Cause then that the risk reward is kind of, kind of shady there. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah. You can, it doesn't matter what you post reminds me of your X net trade, except that push through. I, I, I think opening volume stuff has an effect on whether the VWAP, I think opening volume stuff, I think is affected on whether the VWAP reclaims will push through or get stuff depends on the amount of bag. Holders. Yeah. Daily bag holders for sure. Right. And, and that like when, when you trade an open, if you're trying to short an open push for me, the, the daily chart like is huge on that. Like whatever the daily chart says, like if it's a wiki daily chart like that, I get a lot more convicted in that. Brandon wanted an immediate leg down wanted an immediate leg down overstayed risk was 621, but caught some slippage. Um, wanted the immediate leg down, um, for, for this short. Oh, and for this one. Yeah. 621. And this, oh crap. I didn't get that out of it. CBI. Oh yeah. This was, oh, this is the one that I wanted to buy at six. This is the one that I wanted to buy at six, but forget that. Like, I mean, that was my idea, not yours. If you're shorting here, so this is essentially like you're shorting, you're shorting up here because you're, you're, it's, it, it's like you're shorting based off this high. So yeah, it definitely caught some slippage, but like, I mean, it was fast. Um, put it this way. What could you have done differently? Um, if the risk is 621, did you consider splitting the order between 6 and 614 or something like that? Like, I mean, if the order is, I mean, if the thesis is that like, if 621 is the risk, if it gets up to 618, that's pretty good, right? Like, that's pretty good risk to reward if you're only risking like four cents on, like assuming, let's take slippage out of it, but assuming that, um, right, like assuming that you're going to get um, four cents risk on that, like, I mean, one could say that you might want to split it. Um, also, you can... When, when, when you're thinking about the thesis like that, um, how strong, like if, what would you like, think about like the risk 621. When you're thinking of like where to set the risk, it's because it's the high here. When we get down to 580, some things I like to think about is if we get a move back from 580 to 620, do I want to short it? 
Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.